Alrighty, uh, settling in. We'll play the one of the best games ever made. Fighting one of the best bosses ever to kick my butt. Uh, should be a good time. So far, no drop frames, but they're jumping around like crazy. Dude, um, I didn't catch it in the, um, I did not catch it in the actual, uh, in the actual video, but the trees were, the wind was strong enough that the trees were like bending 90 degree angle. Like I was afraid stuff was going to come down. Um, there were two roosters out. I was trying to get the roosters back into their coops and I couldn't stay out there because like branches were coming down and pine cones. It was like grenades falling on my head. It was crazy out there, man. So I had to only get one of the roosters in. The other one just seems like hit underneath a truck the entire storm. But, like, there was stuff falling and hitting me. And it was like, it was like apocalyptic, man. It was awesome. Loved it. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I didn't kill the, uh, kill the bonner. Hope I didn't ruin it for you, my friendo. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty crazy one, though. It was neat. It was, it was cool to see. A little bit scary, though. Like I said, I was worried about a tree falling down. Thankfully, only dead branches were blown out of the trees, but... I was worried. Also, we're not gonna... To fire, Excuse me, I was speaking. Paint a world. Those absorbed by fire must not... Good firewood for later? Not wrong. Once it dries out, yeah. Don't worry. Hey, Workhor, you welcome to the stream. Another. By the way, thank you for continuing the gift sub that you got from Sobi. Really appreciate that. Welcome back to the Kettle Club. Um, but yeah, it was it was quite windy. It was a sudden rainstorm. I'd say it lasted maybe like an hour and a half or two hours. It was sunny this morning and then just bam. But that's how it is in the mountains. Really cool. But uh, yeah, we will. I was well, before I was so rudely interrupted by um, little painting girl talking up there. We will not suck. We're gonna obliterate this little punk. Like you will see. Prepare to be amazed. Um, is this everything that I want equipped? Like, I, like here I could switch over rings and then on the in-between of the fight switch them back. But, God, that's so much work. Why don't I just be not bad and then we won't have to worry about it. Hey, Zima, welcome to the stream as well. I appreciate it. I am indeed safe. Thank you. Oh, good. We're dropping frames. Now the stream can officially start. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Zima. How you doing? I think I'm going to just... Keep things how they how they be. Like I don't see a reason to change it, unless I get so much difficulty that I have to. Then I, I think I'm going to keep it how it is. Just murder this boss fight with ease. We'll use only the dagger and being nude. I mean, is that a challenge? Very well. You have uh, you have challenged me, and I shall accept your challenge. Uh, let's do it. Dagger only, nude. We're going to take down Freed on our first try. Tired from filing out tax forms. That sounds not fun. I need to do that myself now that you remind me. Let's do it. You can clearly do it, I believe. What's your plan, Frida? Come on, come on. Show me. Come on. Return from whence thou camest, for that is thy place of belonging. That one didn't count. That one did not count, okay? Naked dagger run. Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome, Shades. <laughs> that one didn't count. I've been challenged by recons to get good and do it uh, naked with just my dagger. So, you know what? That's what we're going to do. I appreciate that. I'm going to ignore the kappa and uh, and assume you are just legitimately a good friend and someone who cares about me succeeding. Thank you. Yeah, I feel you. Anything related to filing government forms is not fun. And believe me, I know something about filing government forms because if you can believe it, there was, oh, there was even more government forms to file. Like, Japan loves bureaucracy and paperwork. Like, everything filed in triplicate, and Return that one didn't count either. Check this out. Everything is sent via fax. If you don't have a fax machine in Japan, like, you are so behind the times. Thankfully, they gave up pagers a little while ago, but everything has to be faxed. It's like, oh, you turned this in, or you emailed it or printed it? No, no, no. We only accept it if you fax it in. Like, even if you give it directly to them, like, here is the paper in triplicate as requested. Sorry, we only accept it if it comes to our fax machine. Good old Japan. <laughs> Good old Japan. Uh-oh, are we counting deaths now? I don't like the sound of that. Good old Japan, always wanting to make sure that uh, they're, they're keeping up with the old tech. When I was there, too, when I lived there, smartphones were pretty popular. Like, we're talking 
you know, not that many years ago, like what, six, seven years ago, they were still using flip phones. People did not use smartphones over there, even though they're very common in America. Like they were just behind the times in tech, which is really weird, which, ah, which doubly goes for the fact they're still using fax machines, man. If you can beat Worf and BL4, you can beat this. Also, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah, I, I should be able to. <laughs> Quarterly taxes for your boss. Yeah, never a fun time. Especially filing taxes for someone else. That sounds even less fun. But if you're being paid for it, a little less unfun, I suppose. Maybe we should just punch her in the face a couple times. Give her the, give her the old back slap. The Richard Simmons strike, as I like to call it. All right. A little backhand of justice. Um, she shouldn't be that hard. If we can get to phase two, I guarantee we'll win. Guaranteed. Look at that evasion. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm juking. I'm juking this freaking Madden 99, Frida. You're in the wrong game, baby. You're in the wrong game. Wrong game, baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, recons. That's dark. Oh, nice try, nice try. But you forgot something. It's called... Ow. That's fine. I don't even mind. All right, what's your plan? Plan is back here again. Acceptable. Okay, I messed that one up slightly. I will admit that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, what's your plan now? I don't think she made it very far, yeah. Return from whence I mean, we got her halfway. Gandhi, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Shades? Good to see you here, my friend, though. Probably feels amazing. I mean, it depends on what you're into, I suppose. Scythe is better than Dagger? Oh, oh, yes, but what about freaking spamming the R2 button in Madden 1999 to juke your way past all the defenders? That's the true strat here, so we should have this. I believe. Not only do I believe, but much like uh, Mulder before me, I want to believe. And those two things combined means that we should have no, no difficulty here. Man, I did that. I used to have that down perfectly. And that I used to have perfectly. I gotta get my old strats back. Gotta let, let the muscle memory carry me again. There's a backy back. The scythe is not actually a good weapon. I mean, her scythe is. <laughs> Maybe not like a like a legit cutting scythe for grass and whatnot, but her scythe rocks my socks. Okay. Hello, freed up. If you'd be so kind, thank you. Never mind, I messed it up again. Okay, that was a pretty slick move. We might need to go ahead and use our regular weapons. I'm, this actually might be out of my, out of my my wheelhouse, as it were. Uh, death number five. All right, we're pulling up the we're pulling up the normal weapons. In the game, yeah, in the game, it is indeed pretty, pretty solid at kicking my Djibouti. Have you tried dropping so many frames that Frida's already dead? Oh my wamo shinderu. That's actually not a terrible idea. Looking at the frames, I can see where you're getting the idea from. We're just gonna ignore that and hope that it'll be fine. It'll wait till phase two, then it'll be giant bull versus dagger. Yeah, also the fact that his chair, like the chair that he's glued to, probably due to oozing hemorrhoids causing stickiness, uh, is a little bit difficult to deal with, if we're being totally honest. Um, and now with that lovely thought in your head, let's move on to trying this again. Do I want to... I don't think I even want the other two shields out right now. They're a little bit in my way. I need the I need the mojo that the hat provides. The hat gives me the, the power that I need in order to be all that I can be in the U.S. Army. That's right, Joe. I never forgot. You know the frame drops? They won't exist. I've never actually seen the the anime recons. I should probably check it out though, or at least the manga or something. I've seen a little bit of an abridged version of it. That was kind of hilarious. Hey, Nerdy Nematode. Good morning, afternoon. What time is it? Good, whatever time it is. How are you doing? 
Wow, I didn't expect that to be a backstab. But okay. Welcome to the stream. The hat is also absolutely not a curse. And the fact that you would even joke as such uh, offends me. The hat is actually the source of my power. It is amazing, and it is it is where my damage comes from. Come on, Frida. I don't know why the hate for the hat, man. Another game on my radar that I'm interested in playing. Um, more and more so, I'm getting the itch for it, is to try to get uh, either an emulator going or something to be able to play Demon Souls. Just so that I could definitely say I've played every single Miyazaki game that I'm familiar with, at least. I'm sure there's probably another, or at least another from South game. I'll play the entire Souls games. Let's call it that. Okay, this should be it. Ah, boom! Okay, phase two, here we go. Neo 2, I would have to buy it, and right now I don't have the money for it. The throat is back to normal. I'm thank thank you very much for saying I sound good. I know last stream that I did, I could feel I didn't have the full depth of range that I normally do. It's in a lot better place. It needed a day to, day to uh, come back to it. Sound better than Tuesday? Good, 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 good. Haven't even played Elden Ring. Ah, Elden Ring's not out yet. How am I supposed to have played that? All right, let's kill, let's kill, let's go kill her dad now. All right, I did everything wrong there. As thy kind always have. I don't know how much money that would be worth, but I do not see a world in which that pays for Neo 2. But thank you for the offer. I'll pass for now. Question mark? <laughs> Make a cool CGI trailer. I mean, he definitely did that much. And then release or more information or something, buddy? Don't go all Kojima on us and switch sides suddenly. Switch your publisher. Who's going to publish Elden Ring? Do we know? Like, I know we had Activision for um, Sekiro, which was already a little bit concerning, a little odd. Do we know what we have for um, Elden? Publisher can be kind of a big deal for in terms of what happens with the game. Oop. Think it's Bandai again? Okay. I do like Bandai a little bit more, probably, but largely because I'm a Gundam fan, and they do Gundam stuff, and I love Gundam. So I might be a little biased. Come on, Frieder. Now I'm free. Free. I need to change the title of my video, too. I just realized we're not fighting the Nameless King anymore. We're fighting Frida. Whoa, 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 lady. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, chill out. Ow. Okay. Or extremely don't chill out. That's cool, too. Oh, I got frostbitten. I think she jumped over here. Oh, there she is. There she was. It's EA. I hope that's a joke. I, I seriously do. That's concerning. Online only. It's not a game. It's a service. Elden Ring is a is a uh, online service. Come here, madam. Let's heal up. All right, here we go. I feel like I should have the last Esther shard by now. Oh, I had to heal in the last battle. I do. Okay, good. Uh, here we go. Let's do not bad this time. Free! This is not the time for you. I'm trying to kill your dad right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Get away! It's been a while since I fought him. I gotta remember how to actually like do battle. As thy kind always 
Yeah, what do you mean by... I don't like the way you said your kind. A little, little. Oh, let's change the title of the stream, too, here. The most important part. How can I smack him in his butt when his butt is firmly planted in that chair? Um, let me see here. The killing of Miyazaki... Miyazaki's... Foot babe. Done. There we go. That'll attract people in with its catchy title. <laughs> Maybe, probably not. So if you throw some ice over and then attack Papa, it takes her a sec to get back. I used to have pretty good strats. Hopefully my muscle memory will kick in and do it all for me. Probably not, but you never know. There we go. Alright, our title has been updated. Seems good. Let's go. Uh where am I? Here we go. Here I am, once again, chopping into pieces, can't pretend you were the one- Wait, I, I don't know my song very well. Give me your feet, I wish to do unnatural weird things with them. Boop. Any tips on- with this boss? Um, welcome, first of all, Walrus, to the stream, hope you're having a great night. I am probably not the best person for tips, but what I can recommend is um, patience with her on her attacks. She does stagger easily. A weapon that causes her to stagger is useful. Additionally, you can, uh, I, I don't know if you're familiar, but ow. You can um, tell where she's gonna go when she goes invisible. So if she goes invisible, watch to see which direction the snow goes. So if you see it just like a little plume go up, she'll go behind you. And otherwise, you can tell if it's going left or right, and you can easy backstab in like that. Just do everything I don't do. Also, not a terrible decision. Not not a terrible idea. For phase three, I am doing the soul level one challenge, so... Poison works really well? I might have to try that. Um, phase three, I do exclusively backstabs. So this is a not this isn't a normal run. This is a challenge run. But um, oftentimes, I think, with her, it's not being greedy. Because she will stagger to a point... And eventually she will stop staggering. You can also parry her, but I would not recommend it. Throw dung pies at the at the dad. I mean, that would toxic him. Can we toxic him? Okay, that was a little bit bad. There we go. Oh, the storyteller staff. Yeah, I do remember that whole saga from last time I tried this. If you go for a backstab while she's doing that little charge up, move further to her scythe hand than you feel like you should. Otherwise, you will miss it because of how they do it. It's weird. Go. Oh. Yeah, those are some tips that I would probably give to help with the fight. Don't get too greedy on your swings. So here you can see she jumped over here to the right. We'll pull out our dagger. Stay pretty far over to the side here and get a nice little backstab. There we go. Is there a particular phase you're out? having trouble with <laughs> I'm not afraid we're fine jumped over to the right where are you at there you is okay that was a little too far to the side there but you get the point of staying to the uh, staying to the side a little bit Whoop. that was bad timing on my part Whoop. here she's jumping behind us and that'll be the end of phase one. There we go. This game is very detrimental to your health, <laughs> to your sanity. Because if so, yeah, I totally, I feel you on that one. She gets scoliosis and she does the invisible attack. Ooh. I had drop frames. Yeah, also, um, I apologize again if you're new here for the drop frameage. I do not have the best internet living out in the middle of the mountains as I do. So apologies for that if it's a problem. It's part of the Ranger Stream experience, we've decided. We're dead. We're dead. Oh, man. I'm, I'm having a rough time of it. Oy vey. Is the game volume okay for you guys? I, have my, I might have my headphones up just a little bit too high. My drop frames. The frames are not great. There was a huge storm today in the mountains, so... It could be affecting the quality of the, of the frameage -ness. Volume's good? Okay, good. After this fight, you get to fight Demon. Is Demon Prince the next fight? Oh god, I guess it is, isn't it? Ha. Ah, my favorite. 
My favorite. Oh, come on. That was a good backstab. Really? Why did I decide to become a mountain hermit? You know, um, living in the city with all them highfalutin rich yuppies, I was just like, I've read also Sprock Zarathustra. He, he, the, the, um, sorry, it's hard to focus and also kill free at the same time. The freaking Unterme or the, the Ubermensch was a mountain hermit when he was all enlightened and came down and changed the world. Why can't I become enlightened and change the world? And, and you know, really, the, isn't that what guides us all? The, uh, old, what, 18th? 19th century writings of um, Friedrich Nietzsche. Really, if that doesn't guide your entire life, then I have to ask, what are you doing with your life? She has decided to die. Wait, which way did she go? This way, right? Yes. Almost guessed wrong. Is there hot girls in the mountain? No, but there are birds. And elk. I get very lonely. But not in that way. That might have come out weird. It's definitely alive. How much whiskey does it take you to attain enlightenment a day, though? Sadly, I do not make enough money to currently reach that level of enlightenment, but I wish. <laughs> Ranger talks to animals. I love them. Who else am I going to talk to? Roll away! There we go. Uh, but in reality, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to live in the mountains. And now I do, so it's sort of like achieving your childhood dreams. Because I've, I've always loved the forest and camping and such. So now to actually live in a place where I can do that full time, it's like a dream come true for me. If you want, like, the real answer instead of just my, my mimetry. Where'd she go? There you is. We stopped the heal. We stopped the heal at least. Not exactly optimally, but we stopped her. Yeah, come over here, Dad, with the giant pot. Thank you. No, freedom! Freedom! God, all right, we're getting a little better. We're getting a little better. Leave those up alone. <laughs> oh, no. I, that might have come out very wrong. <laughs> Can't even use cap with that one? Aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. I'm not the weird one. They're the weird one for approaching me. No, but it, there's a lot of wildlife out here, which is awesome to see. However, in terms of um, other humans to interact with, there is relatively little, is how I would put that. There's not, not a ton of humans out here, as I am a mountain hermit. I can... Uh, if you're curious, like, what sort of view do I have after this fight, I will turn my um, webcam to the anterior... So that you are able to see, like, what sort of view I have out of my streaming window. Return from oh, there you go. Thou Notice. This is what I see out my window. That's my, uh, that's my propane tank that I use for propane-based things. Hank Hill would be proud. Look at the size of that thing. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is out what's outside my window. Turn back here. Okay, there we go. So yes, yeah, oh no, don't fall, camera! I need you to be not falling down. I'm sorry, I actually balance it on a stack of books because I'm very professional. So, a stack of books that range from the Witcher series to the uh, Chinese five-part compendium on the history of the world from 5000 BC on. But more of that later. <laughs> it is very beautiful, yeah. It's a wonderful, wonderful place to live. If you're not, as long as you don't mind having to drive 45 minutes to get to town, yes. Ah, uh, and Akiko. Akiko is super cute. Yes, she is. She's super good. <laughs> a stack of erotic hermit novels. Hard to get those up here. Believe it or not, hard to get them. <laughs> uh, whoop. No, those are all located conveniently in in the hermit bathroom, which is just like a normal bathroom except more hermity. Hermit the frog here. What a battle. Neither of us can land a hit until I did. Ha ha. Ha ha. There we 
go. What is Jiraiya? Be self-published. See, you say that as a joke, which is the funniest part of it all. You say it, you don't actually mean it. But reality is sometimes stranger than hermit porn. I mean fiction. Come at me. Come at me, fiend. This is way too much switching between weapons to be convenient. There we go. Hermit crab. Yes, I live in uh, I live in a hollowed out Pepsi can that someone dropped here back uh, ten thousand years ago when it was a beach before it became an actual forest. Cool stuff, huh? The more you know. She's not dead. Are you actually kidding me? Are you joking me right now? There we go. All right, let's do this. Do I have the hornet ring on? I do not. Probably would not be a bad idea when I get to phase three, since I rely completely on it. 10,000 years ago? Indeed, 10,000 years ago. Back when the Earth was created and the universe started. Um, that, is when, uh, that is when this place used to be an ocean. Known as the Ranger Miocene era. The Ranger, followed by the uh, Ranger Olympic era. And currently, in the uh, the year of our master, his good graciousness, Hermit Ranger. There's a little bit of insight on the, the living conditions. For those who are interested, this is scary. This is scary! Frida, if you weren't so dang close right now, it'd be really convenient to me. There you go, sucker. Sorry, I'm having to focus intently here for a moment. No! Bad Frida. No, I was too close! Oh man, that was going pretty well. But the world is only 2020 years old. Science checks out. No, America is only 2020 years old. The world was created 10,000 years ago at the start of the universe. Duh. Yeah, that AOE is garbage. I wouldn't need to focus so much if you got good. Yeah, imagine if I was so good that I could just, like, never have to actually pay attention to what I was doing. The AOE is nonsense sauce. All right, let's take this punk out. Bring it. Bring it. I dare you. Okay, bad start for me. I will grant you that, Freedsters. But we'll see how that keeps going for you in the advantage. English doesn't need to be happening anymore. Don't worry about it. Oh, I got the max out. I really didn't expect to. Hey, Ethan, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoyed that little rant about the Rangiolithic era. It's a very generally not too talked about or documented time in history. Um, quite fascinating, though. You can learn a lot. Can't... <laughs> I'm sorry. I read that as something totally different there, Zima. <laughs> I thought you said you can't blindfold Frida. How do you get those feet to suck? And I was like, you know, maybe it would be consensual and the blindfold wouldn't be necessary. But that's not what you said. I totally misread that. I'm in a weird place at the moment, mentally, apparently. All the elk talk has got me all in a strange place. All this talk of elks. Oh, God, the frames. Frames, come back to me. You're not allowed to be this gone. I deed you. All the talk of elks, and suddenly he can't focus. All right, Frida, where are you going? Right behind me. Oh, you sucker. We'll get her. Key up! Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, XCOM, yeah, that was a that mission is pretty rough, man. <laughs>
Oh my lord. Yeah, the 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 YouTube series are going interesting. The XCOM is definitely um decided it's time to kick my butt for my hubris earlier. Alright. You jerk! Where did she go? Frida, you jerk! Oh. Oh no. What try are we on? The number became too high. He's not lying. I would say we're somewhere like around probably 15 deaths now. Somewhere around 15 or so. Don't let her heal. A whole new world. Thank you for that tip. We're going to put that in immediate action. All righty. Yeah, she, she jumped to the perfect place there to stop me from stopping her from healing. It was very intelligent. Right now, we're going to use strats here for um, those who are curious what our strat is. We keep mid-distance from her in order to bait out the attacks we want to see. Like, as you can see, I'm keeping her doing the attacks that I'm very well uh, ready to take care of. Going super great for me. The the mid-strats just super executing them with um, all, all the grace and wonder of a, um, of a paralyzed toddler. All right. That's fine, though. Now we've got her where we want her. Return from whence thou camest, for that is thy place Right where we want her. Right where we want her. Well, I mean, not every attempt's gonna be a winner. Took me way more on my regular- Well, we'll see what the number gets to, Ethan. We will- we will see what it gets to. <laughs> All right, so the mid strats. We try and keep right around this distance, get her to do this jump attack. Allows us to get an easier backstab if I don't screw it up here, like so. Run up behind her and boot a bop, boot a bop. That's how we get some damage off. Good stuff when it works. Okay, so keep right around mid. If we get too close, she'll start taking swings at us. This is fine, too. She just jumped behind us. This is another free backstab that we like to see. There we go. Like so. 7,000 deaths so far. There was one, um... I did a... I've done Dark Souls before. Oh, careful. I have done a Dark Souls run. I don't remember which one it was, but where I did actually have a death counter. It might have been on my original Soul Level 1 for Dark Souls 3. That was back before the YouTube and keeping records of VODs and things, so I don't know if it even still exists in any format, unfortunately. Okay, this was scary. We both scared each other. So, I don't know if any of those still exist. I don't think they do. But I did have a death counter at one point. I think Shades had used it prior, and so he helped me set it up. Back in the day. Back in the before times. Shwoop. All right, phase two. Here we go. Here I am once again. Frida is a jerk. Okay, good. Just gotta play it carefully here. Don't get greedy. This is good, this is good. Freedom will now go in the wrong direction if we can get up behind him. Is this the one where he does the AoE? No, it's not. Let's bring him over here though, away from, oh it is, okay. We can get behind him here. Frida's on the other side of him though, which does upset me. I'm afraid what she's gonna be doing. Well, we found her. Totally jacked it. Totally jacked it up. What the heck, man? I, he did like the swing to do a backstab, but didn't actually backstab. Oh, no. His <laughs> death counter just said, yes. I like that. <laughs> oh, man. What the heck was that nonsense? We had such a good run going there, and then we let him off the hook. Ah, oh, man. 
Unfortunate. Well. Back to Frida. Woohoo! Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Frida gonna come jumping out with her signs and all. We're gonna use a move to deflect it. Mm hmm. Come at me, madam. Come at me, madam. Do something. Stop just walking menacingly. You're kind of, you're kind of freaking me out. Okay, thank you. That was not ideal, but you know. It's not always going to be perfect. Man. Alrighty. This should be a backstab. Nice and easy. Good. Hey, Deathlock. Welcome to the stream, man. By the way, I have good news. Deathlock and I have started to work out some ideas for some cool new things for the stream. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to check those out and maybe even reveal some of them in the next while here. So, super appreciate what Deathlock's been doing for us. I think it's going to turn out wonderfully, too. Unlike this fight. This fight's currently looking like it's a little bit going to end not well. Well, you know what happens. For that is thy place never make the first the move. I know it's rough, right? I've never met one who did. Nope. Of course, I might just be, you know. It just might be my anecdotal experience. I'm not going to say it's guaranteed. But in my personal experience, it has not been so. Um, do you think it's more damage for using the broadsword to get a couple hits in than I uh, get from the actual backstab? I don't know. Probably this is better since I'm going for almost pure backstab strats, which is what we'll be using in phase three as well. Oh, I missed my timing. No, not like that. <laughs> oh, I missed it again. Come on. No, Deathlock does, uh, if you're familiar with the um, promotional video that uh, was done back in 20, I want to say 2018, that was Deathlock's work, which is super awesome. It's still up on the YouTube. It's my, like, if you go to the YouTube page, it's the, the video that plays. I think it's still my most viewed video on the on the YouTube channel, which isn't saying much because my YouTube channel is still very small and not very watched. But it's growing. Now that we're actually um, uploading videos daily there of stuff that is only uh, available on, on YouTube, can't see it stream, it's getting a little bit more popular. At least a little bit. Getting a little bit of viewage, which is kind of cool. Half the views are from you. <laughs> the other half might be from me. I have watched that video a number of times because it's just so dang cool. Uh, I think YouTube actually factors out views, though, that just keep coming from the same place, so... Who knows, man? Maybe maybe we've built up a little, little group of people who like watching that video, at least. I think it's funny. Oh, come on! We were in the clear there. I used to have that perfectly down. Holy hell, hey! It's one of those things we don't say out loud, at least. Ah, uh, it's really cool though. Yeah, I guess I, now I think about a recon. It's probably the way I phrase that sounded a little bit weird. So sorry if that came off a little bit odd. A little bit odd. Like me and Deathlock have an announcement to make. That's like you say, I can't. I'm too shy. No, it's nothing like that. It's artistic collaboration, and it's awesome. Whoop. Wow, quite the swing around on that one there, huh? Man, she got me good there. Headlock is prayer. <laughs> Careful, we're gonna scare him off. I need him. He must stand trial. A gallon of Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does Amazon have their own proprietary? No, you know what? I don't even want to answer that question. Never mind. My, my brain started to be like, wait a minute. And then I was like, no, it's better if you don't know, Ranger. It's better. It's better if we just we just let that one drift gently off into the ether and never uh never consider it again. Horrifying. Alright, Freedsters. I'm gonna just gonna use a broadsword. I think the broadsword's giving me better success here in phase one. Oh, 
Frida! Could you stop being such a jerk for a minute, Frida? Please? Thank you. Better. By the oil drum? Well, I mean, given the price of oil right now, actually, it's probably a really good price. It's negative priced. It's like, actually, they'll pay you to use it. There we go. Nine hundred dollars for a fifty-five gallon drum? That seems a bit excessive. Yeah, that's what happened to me during phase two last time there. That was garbage. I mean I got hit, but I got the backstab off hilariously enough. Okay, cool. That's wonderful. We've almost got her. 55 gallons is a lot. I mean, it depends on, on consistency of use, really. You, know. you think about it that way. Is it really a lot? That hit me, huh? Frida, would you mind giving a little bit of space between me and your dad? I'm a little busy with him right now, and you're kind of cramping our style. We need to go into our man cave and hang out, like bros, and talk about sports and things, and, and you're sort of, you're sort of, you know. Did she go behind him again? Frida, what part of going behind him to heal did I tell you was not okay? That's right, all of it. That sentence didn't make much sense, but you know what? The point sta- uh -oh. The point stands, kind of, I think. I don't know, actually, for sure. I've confused myself. Get away before he does the freaking deal, the... Yep, the AoE. Thank you. Just wanted to make sure I was well out of the way of that one. Alright, boys. Here we go. Wait a minute, no, I want to keep that one on. However, this I can switch out for the Hornet Ring if I can quickly find it, quickly find it. Can I? That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. All right, Frida, let's do this. Ah, messed it up. AOEs, man, AOEs. Well, we made it to phase three. I screwed up on the getting behind her, though. I think I needed to actually not be locked on. I wanted to switch out for the Hornet ring, though, uh, instead of one of the Hunter rings. Or the, the Hunter or the... Uh, whatchamacallit there. Probably better to switch off the Night ring, actually, now that I think about it. We'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. I feel confident. that we'll be, I mean, that will switch the ring properly. I don't feel confident about any of the other parts. But the ring I feel confident of. Phase 3 shouldn't be that bad if I can just bait the moves that I want her to do. Very much like Phase 1 here. I just have to not screw it up. That was close. Go. Just got that one. We'll get her. She's not going to be too bad. Demon Prince, though. Demon Prince is going to be bad. For those of you who are wondering, is Demon Prince going to be bad? The answer is yes. It will be horrific. It's just such a long fight to even get to phase three. Makes it take forever, man. Nope. Screwed that one up. It was just weird positioning, in fairness. All right, we should have her here. Ow. 
Unless we screw it up. If we screw it up, we will not have her there, as it turns out. Go figure. I know you jumped over this way. Oh, that was a close one. That was eerily close, but we got her. Alrighty, and you know what? Let's go ahead and even do this, just because why not? I don't know if it's the best, but I've just got it sitting there, so I was like, you know, let's do it. Again, sorry for the drop frames. As per usual. Much like death and taxes, it's something that you can count on being constant in life. Which in a way is good. If you don't think about it too hard. No, come back! You're going the wrong way! No, Freed! Get out of here! I don't have time for you! Freed up! Right ah. Come over here, Daddy Poo. Wait, is she gonna heal again? Is she going to heal him again? No, she's not. Which I like. She is right in the wrong spot, though. Right in the wrong spot. Come over here, Pops. Or not. Frida, no! How could she, man? Not a fan of his baby charge. I'm just not a fan of him in general. He's a jerk. No, not you, Akiko. When I said that, she looked over really scared. Not you. You're not a jerk. You're just a weirdo. Yeah. You're a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Uh, something, something, something. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? I don't know. Does anybody understand Beck? I feel like Beck is not one of those people who's meant to be understood. He just sort of exists. And I like that about him. Akiko is precious. Is she or is she pretentious? Is she gregarious or is she egregious? Yeah, she is pretty precious. Return from That's alright. That's alright. Unnecessary. That is Come here, you cutie. Come here. Oh, she gets shy. She got she got so shy about the camera when I called her over. She started hunkering down and like prone crawling away. Like, nope, I don't want to be on camera. I don't know why Akiko gets so shy on the camera. It's very strange. Adorable, but very strange. Alright. Oh, uh, if I can get to phase three, I feel like I have a real shot at it just because... I can I gotta get the muscle memory, but I know how to bait the attacks that I want and just then just it's just being patient. It's not easy, but as long as you're moderately patient, it should be alright. That reached me, huh? That's fine. Hello? Oh. More scary games. What sort of uh, what horror game would, uh, would would you guys enjoy watching then? Because I used to do um, Friday Night Frights back in the day. Played horror games. Those are good times. I found some really good ones. Some were a little bit less good, but some were quite memorable. Some were a lot of fun. Uh, she's fast, man. All right, she should be dead. She should be. She should be dead. Whoopsie. Whoopsie poodle. Whoopsie doodle. There we go. She's dead. Dead Space playthrough. Dead Space one was a lot of fun. Dead Space two didn't add enough to the actual monsters to make me afraid. The actual monsters in Dead Space one, those creatures, those things freaked me out. Just the very first sequence of that game had me like flipping out, afraid. Like yeah, that was legit fear. That game got me good. Leave me alone, please. You had your chance to fight me and you failed, okay? Now it's your dad's turn. Oh. Are you happy, Frida? Now he set us both on fire, even though of course I'm the only one taking damage for it because life is pain. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. We're using up a lot of Estucius here. Run away. There's a backstab. I dodged the AOE and Frida was there. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot to get Yeah, I didn't know anything. I was freaking out. I have not played Resident Evil 7. I haven't played hardly any Resident Evil. Condemned Criminal Origins. Interesting. I'd be interested in checking it. I didn't realize I wasn't at full health. I was so focused on the fight. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to my health, and that was my fault. That was my bad. Got a good run going there. Then we died. Died. Resident Evil. One thing I like in horror games is where I don't have the ability to fight back. And uh, Resident uh, Resident Evil games, don't you have the ability to fight back? You have like a gun or something. That interests me less. From that was just a bad run. That was bad. That was a bad attempt. That one didn't count. That one didn't count. Your weapons don't do anything though. Well, maybe it'd be all right then. I don't know. I've never experienced any Resident Evil, so I mean, if it's a good horror game, we could consider doing a horror game in between. Like, we could, instead of doing two games per stream, what if we did, like, different games? Like, say I did, um, because I'm assuming it's not super long. So Dark Souls 3, obviously, this is a pretty long game to go through. Then we do, like, a shorter one, maybe, like, a horror game for a couple streams, and then come back to a longer game and then switch over, maybe. I don't know. How long is a game like that to finish? Come on, Freedsters. I wish to destroy you. That's not what I want you to do. Come on, I'm baiting you. Bait, bait. Get some power bait out. We're going trout fishing. Come on. All right, behind me. 47 minutes long. That is, uh, that is, that seems a little shorter than I would have expected, to be honest. Oh, man, I got to focus better. Not like an action horror game. Yeah, that's quite short. Wow. I mean, we could just do that at the end of the stream tonight, then. I don't own it. I'd have it downloaded. But that sounds fun. <laughs> just a quick romp through a horror game. I remember back in the day, though, the horror games were never the most popular. They never had the most viewers in my horror game times. I think Dead Space was the horror game that had the most consistently high views of people, like, really seeming interested in it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it actually was. Shades out here trolling. Actually, Shades, uh, I'm surprised I didn't see anything from you. Like, hey, did you know that when uh, when the uh, when Phase Two Dad does the big fireball attack on you, you can actually deflect the fire back at him. It's like you had me, you had me actually going on the Aldrich fight. Like, oh yeah, you just uh, just parry those arrows, man. Easy. I was so like, I I legitimately believe that. I trusted you! It still gets me though when I think about it. It's kind of funny. I trusted you! Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was focusing a little intently there for a moment. That was scary. Come here, Freezers. Okay, she's dead. Ready in the ha! Eh! Here we go. You can parry the arrows and the life ring plus three, yes. And the life ring plus three was also a thing that got me pretty good. I was like, ooh, that sounds great. I want that. Oh, my God. Ranger, why? Why? And but is it a fault of my own that I'm a trusting human being who believes in people? Is that my fault, or should you feel ashamed? Ow! Frida! Or should you be the one who feels ashamed for, for taking advantage of the fact that I 
am a trusting young man who believes in the integrity of God darn it Frida you mother trucker with your healing and what ah you make me so mad Frida! I was wondering where she went to. She was under her father's loins. That's very uncomfortable, Frida. Don't stand there. I'm weird. Just don't do that, please. Frida, I hate you so much. God, this is thought of us. Oh. As thy kind always have. I don't know what happened, Shades, but thank you very much. Appreciate it. Keep things clean. No, no, no. Somebody said you can parry the arrows, yo. Yeah, that's what I ask every day of my life. Like, I thought I'd be fine. I feel like I should have been. That seemed like. Bit of a BS kill to me, but you know. Is Frida and Father, whatever his name is, are they aimbotting? Look, I'm not someone who likes to go out and, uh, like, um, accuse people of cheating or being, like, the kills were because of cheats. Like, does he have wall hacks? There's no definitive way to say for sure. I'm just going to say it was a little bit weird. It was a little bit of a BS looking kill. I'm not totally sure about it. It's got me a little bit wondering. I'm, I don't believe anything anybody says now. Nobody, nobody will ever give me again. Oh, obviously that's what you meant. You monsters! I believed in you! That was extremely close. Get some review on that kill. Yeah, I, seriously. Get, let's get the playback, the frame by frame. Uh, if you notice, like, his bowl snaps to my head in one frame moment. That is clearly a uh, aim hack. I'm afraid we're going to have to ban him from the boss fights in the future. All right, Frida, you've decided to kill yourself. I appreciate that. It makes my life way easier. And I can go, ah! Like that. All right, here we go. Here I am, once again. Okay, we should we should have a new song to sing for that, huh? Again, the snap. I don't know, the snap was a little weird. <laughs> hey, that means that you should be, you're already watching the stream in, in slideshow form. You should be able to do it no problem, man. Well, that could have gone better. One day we'll get to phase three. One day. I mean, the frames are getting a little bit better, it looks like to me. I'm looking at the percentage. The drop percentage is getting lower. That's nice to see. Come at me, Freedsters. Freedaroni. Freedaroni and cheese! All right, easy enough. The entirety of Funky Town. That would actually be pretty good um, incentive to never lose a boss fight again, if I had to do that. <laughs> Hey, Freed Freeds. Oh, wrong weapon for the back stab. Oh, that's fine. Or I'd go insane. Probably the latter. That was a little bit close. Also, I did not mean to do that. That's fine, though. We got that. And there we go. All right. Not more pine resin. Why 
Why is life such pain? Oh, she's back there healing! Frida, you jerk! It's too early to the fight to be healing him. Come on. That's nonsense. <laughs> Please. How am I not dead? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Bro! The timing was good, I think, there. It saved me. Freedom! up! Get away! I'm busy! Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, good. He went far away from us. This is our chance. This is our chance. Here we go. Phase freaking three. Let's do... Uh oh get away from Frida. Get away from Frida. Where's Frida? Frida! Freed Freeds. Yeah, this is going well. Where's Freed Freeds? Let's see the flawless phase. I never said flawless. I said that should be able to be... Theoretically, I should be able to do it flawlessly. Realistically, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold my breath. Who must be passion one, sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind. Once we get that phase three start down, I think you run under that <laughs> flawless. I mean, she got the flawless phase three, I guess. Um, once you, I think you run. Under, is that right, Shades? Is it you run underneath that one? I know you, you're the master at this fight, so I will defer to you. I think you run under that one. Alright. That is okay. You run straight under? Okay. okay. Yeah, I have to... When do you start running, though? I don't think you start at the very beginning of her swings, right? Depends on how close you are to her, I would guess. Best to unlock for that attack? Yeah, that makes sense. Not ideal, but oh well. As long as I didn't get hit, I'm not too upset. Oh, I was a little too close there. Unfortunate. Over here. Got her. All right, phase two. Took me a minute to be able to even figure out. You could tell where she goes when she's invisible. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's once you get that down, it makes it so much easier. Practice phase three more, but it's so hard to even get there because phase two. Phase two is so obnoxious. He doesn't even have that much HP. It's just dealing with Frida that makes it annoying. Like, he by himself is pathetic. It's just God. Frida's little annoying ice attacks and then crawling underneath his skirt, swinging at you. Like a pejorative term used for women sometimes, which is inappropriate. I will not say it myself, but I'm thinking. Those sort of things annoy me. Like right now, Frida, stop it. You should be going to try and heal him at this point, I think. There she is. Stay away from that. Alright, there we go. That helps. Excuse me. I heard it. I survived that. Let's not jinx it. Let's not jinx it. Come around him. Okay. Just being patient here. Phase two is your favorite. What is wrong with you, Deathlock? No! I believed in you. You were the chosen one! All right, phase three here. Here we go. Here I am. Phase two is better. 
An Ornstein smell? Oh my god. Uses knickknacks for a speed bag. Ah, oh, that's on me. Alright, here we go. We can do this. We can do this. Do it. Do it. He missed! He missed the stab! Missed again! That was scary. That was also scary. She didn't like me being that close. I should have let her do her second jump, I guess. I need all my health. Come on, do something I can counter, please. Sorry, Chad, I'll have to get back with you in a little while. I screwed it up again, man. How did that miss me? I love it, but I'm just curious. She got me. All right, we're getting a little better. We're getting a little better. At least you got 300 damage. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Pretty much just a damage balloon. Phase two is better. I mean, that is true from that standpoint, I suppose. Frostbitten runs on fire. <sighs> phase two is not going to... I mean, phase three is not going to take us that long to get used to. Once I get a little bit better on my backstab angles there, we're going to have it no problem. She's, she's basically done already. Not even afraid. Even the frames are not dropping... I don't know, maybe they are. I'm just assuming they're not. Okay, I can slow walk too. I do like that. Yeah, and that was like all of her health. That's like half of her health down. Not all of her health. About half of her health down in one little baby combo. DSA is so good. Yep, knew that one was gonna hit. Come on. All right, she should be basically done here. Whoops. Well, I screwed that one up, but that's okay. Next, you should be basically done. There we go. You can run for most of phase three. Yeah. You know you can parry with the DSA? <laughs> you don't say! Yeah, that was a pretty sweet combo. DSA is pretty amazing. Broken? Yeah, probably. But I'll take it. I love it. All right, that was a little greedy. I got a little greedy there, I know. Uh, yeah, how is it in um in regular play? Actually, I've never played it in... um. I don't think I've ever really used the DSA in a normal run before. Just say no to pot. You know, if I could, I would, but God, it just... You know, it, it crushes me when I when I try to get away. It's, it's sad, but it's reality. What kind of soup? That looks to me like uh, spicy curry. Very spicy curry. Okay. Maybe some bibimbap. Extremely spicy bibimbap. If you want to go with a Korean bent on it. Come on. Uh-oh. All right. She took my uh, she took my charge to hurry up and attack me quite seriously. And um, it worked well. I will grant her that. He. I think you spelled P wrong. Yep, there's our 1500 damage combo on SL1. <laughs> uh, combo that requires a backstab and just two hits. Oh, man. 
Never had curry? Ethan, I highly recommend. Curry is fantastic. I prefer Japanese curry personally, but I am not opposed to uh, Indian curry either. Missed the backstab again. That backstab can be a little bit finicky sometimes. Really annoying. Come on. Do something. Finally. Oh, well, she did something all right. I've never had Russian curry. What is Russian curry? Curry ones who didn't like it. You smell curry all the time. I mean, there's worse smells than curry, but yeah, curry can have a pretty, pretty strong. Oh, vodka. <laughs> curry has a pretty unique smell to it. Um, Japanese curry, though, I find to be much more along my line. Ramen is better. How do you? You can't compare ramen and curry. They're two totally different things. Here's a question for Mel. Um, in your curry, if you're doing Japanese curry, what do you prefer? Katsu or some other sort of meat in it? Like, what do you have in your curry? Or for that sake, what do you have in your ramen? But let's not get too crazy here. Like a chashu men? Because if we're having some chashu men, then I'm, I'm all for it. But I prefer shoyu based, thank you. Don't try and give me a miso based ramen. I know better. And if I have a real, real great day, and it's just like perfect for a ranger, then it's going to be, um... Onomichi ramen, so ramen from the Onomichi region of Japan. They have, by far, the best ramen in existence. Let me start over. Now that I'm thinking about ramen, I'm getting hungry for ramen. You did this to me! What did I even do there? What was that? I like tried to elbow her? You know what? That death looks her. Katsu? Ah, uh, yeah. Doesn't do Japanese curry? What? Indian curry, though, also fantastic. Yeah, Ethan, I don't generally, in America at least, I've never gotten curry from India. I've never gotten Indian curry. And if I do Japanese curry, I make it myself. But in Japan, there's actually a lot of Indian people that immigrate there. And they uh, they make a lot of really good curries. Like, it's legit Indian curry. So all the good Indian curry I've ever had in my life has been well in Japan, hilariously enough. Like, there's, a, there's some really good places back there. But also, Japanese curry I absolutely adore. With katsu in it. I like just making katsu as well. Oh man, I'm getting so hungry. I better stop thinking about this so much. I'm getting real hungry. Hey, Deathlock, didn't you say before also you were working on learning Japanese? How's that go, man? Renting a motorcycle? Uh, maybe a bicycle. I don't know about a motorcycle. <laughs> Still, one of the most depressing things I've ever seen in my life was this guy who was wearing a super cool outfit. You know, he's got like his. Leather jacket, he's on a motorcycle with a cool helmet. Like, the dude just looks like he's straight out of a, a movie about some cool dude riding his motorcycle all around. You know, he's got his, like, his cool everything, and then his shoes. He's wearing Crocs with no socks on are the shoes that he's got on the super bike. I was just like, it's one of those hideous juxtapositions I've ever seen that made me feel very uncomfortable. I don't know what would possess you to wear Crocs while riding a motorcycle, but it is, um, it is an unholy thing. Evil and unholy. All right, catch you in a bit there, Zima. Do it. Got her. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, Ethan, if you ever get the chance, though, I highly recommend to try it. As long as it's some decent place. Japan is obviously best for Japanese curry, but you can actually make pretty reasonable Japanese curry here if you get the right stuff. Like, even just using the golden curry, uh -oh. golden curry that you can get, like, at an Asian restaurant, like, or not, uh, at, like, a import store, get some of the golden curry and make that with, put it over rice, and then it's pretty good. Got some promotion work, plan picking it back up at some point. Awesome, man. Gambate. Gambate with Tashiro Tomodachi. But, uh, yeah, highly recommend if you're interested in learning the language to um, immerse yourself. So if you can watch stuff in Japanese, start with subtitles. Once you start to get the hang of the language, turn subtitles off and kind of force your brain to try to parse it itself. It's a really good way. But the hardest thing about learning a language, in my opinion, is, um, you know, do you have somebody to speak it with? The biggest difficulty that I've, I've encountered trying to learn new languages is just... When, you know, you don't have an opportunity to actually use it. Being able to use a language, especially on a like daily basis, or at least relatively consistency, or consistently, I believe is key to learning. 
Flip flops. Oh, I actually knew a guy back in college who was wearing, um, it wasn't quite as bad as flip flops. He had Chuck Taylors on, like Converse All Stars, and uh, got into a bike accident where he was like riding in between vehicles like an idiot, and he was like, it was my fault 100%. But yeah, he said like it just shredded his entire foot into nothingness. Pretty bad. Yeah, I'd be happy to talk with you in Japanese. I, I love it, you know? It's my, uh, it's my best non-native language that I speak, so I'm happy to be able to practice mine anytime, too. Now, I've never seen a picture of how it looks, though. Thank God. I don't know if I can stomach that, man. See a foot that basically looks like it went through a cheese grater. Now we just don't get greedy. I see you, Frida! Got her. All right, good. So, German, do you speak German? I, I I do not know German. I want. I would be up for learning. My only problem with German is that Germans speak such darn good English that I don't know if I'd ever be able to use it, even if I went to Germany. All those darn Germans and they're being really good at English and language and whatnot. Ugh, it's sick. Like, at least with Japanese, you know, Japanese people try to speak English, but on the whole, they're not particularly good at language, at English language, because of the way it's taught and for other factors. Like, there's an actual use case for knowing Japanese while in Japan. It's not necessary, but it can uh, make things much easier. If I was in Germany, I don't know who the heck would be able to understand me. Like, Germans are amazing. At least that's my interpretation of it. I don't know if that's totally true. That being said, just learning it in general so it does sound like fun. I wouldn't mind learning it. I had a, um, a guy who lived very close to me, lived across the hall from me in Japan. And uh, he was German. And his English, of course, was like immaculate. He went to school. Oh, too close. He went to school in America. But, yeah, he would, um, he would occasionally teach me a phrase here or there. It's really cool. I like the language a lot. I'm so mad at Frida. Everything is terrible. Yeah, Germany is somewhere I'd like to visit, though. I'll be honest with you, I'd want to go to Oktoberfest. If I was going to go to Germany, I'd like to go at the time when it's Oktoberfest. It just sounds like it'd be a great time, you know? Just doing, like, a tour of, of, of Europe would be fun, you know? Like, just get on the, on the old train in Europe and just go around to all sorts of different countries and explore it. Like, to me, that sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. I'd be very much down for that. But, you know, the money hole situation. I'm probably a little old for that now. That's very much the, like, college person dream to do something like that. It'd be a lot of fun. I guess I did. I mean, I have, in this sense, done something similar with Japan in that I've been to basically everywhere except the south of Japan. I have not been to the south of Japan. So, Kyushu and, um, uh, like, the very furthest southern island. Whoop, Daisy. Uh, I don't know why it's escaping my memory now. Where the American naval base is. I have not been there. Go. Oh, I screwed that up. Whoop. To whoop. Almost. Okinawa. Thank you, Shades. Yes. I don't know why. I, you know, it's. It, I, I'm going to blame it on trying to focus on the game and also remember that at the same time. I should have been able to remember that. Young at heart, though. Young at heart, and also, um, then there's the issue of money. So, you know, it's not the cheapest thing to go to take, like, a month-long trip through Europe, which would be amazing, but probably eat up a lot of finances. So, there, are, unfortunately, that is consideration. If I had the opportunity, though, like, I would be 100% for it. I guess it's time to set a, um, a donation goal here on the stream. So who wants to uh, set a, like, I don't know, $7,000 donation goal to make it so that I can go on a, on a trip to Europe? <laughs> you haven't been to the south of Japan either? Have you been to any other parts of Japan, Shades? Have you ever been to old Nippon? Have you been to Honshu? Japan. One of my goals was, back in the day, I was like, oh, man, 
I would love to be able to go to the um, the Olympics, the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, but I don't know if that's really reasonable. <laughs> Never left the USA. Oh, Shay, sounds like we need to go on a on a trip, my friend, a trip to Japan. Once you get internet famous, we can do a Ranger founding members European tour. I mean, I'd be able to at least meet up with Grub and Plakot. I wonder what other European viewers I might have. I have some viewers in Poland. You know, maybe I'd be able to at least have somewhere that I, I don't have to worry about getting uh, lodgings for myself. I can just sleep at everyone else's house and not have to worry about myself. That seems legit. <laughs> if you have time to watch me stream, you have time to fund and, and complete trip to Europe for me, okay? Okay. You have time to donate $7,000 to me. Come on, do something, Frida. Got the freaking Xanarkin music going here, and it's making me feel real sad inside. Marvel Timmy. Ah, yes, Timmy. It's been a long time. That's true, in Hungary. That's cool how many people from all over the world have been. And there's Tom. Isn't Tom in Italy? Or is that Spain? I think he's Spain, right? No, he's Italy. He's Italy. Yeah, we've met people from all over the world, dude. It's super awesome. Nope, didn't get that. Internet famous. Oh, wouldn't that be the day? Thomas Italy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got people from all over the world. Surely they'd all be willing to offer their rooms and board to me. I'll just show up unannounced. But, hey! I know where you live. Oh, come on. I know where you live because I'm internet famous now and I can just find that stuff out. Not weird. Don't worry about it. I'm here to stay for a night or two. How's that sound? You don't have a choice in it. Okay, great. And North Dakota, indeed, if we're doing an American tour. Oh, there you go, Shades. Yeah, once uh, Deathlock can uh, clock in for ND for you. I've got the IDs, you got the ND. Alrighty, phase two is kicking my butt. Yeah, that's actually a really cool idea too, Shades. I like that one a lot. If you didn't already do it, I would steal it for myself. But I try not to be an idea stealer. Try to keep things as original as I can and not step on the toes of my compatriots and peers. That being said, sometimes we do the same challenge runs, but that's a little different. I feel like there's sort of... When we're doing challenge runs that are the same or we're all doing it at the same time or we've done them before, like there's a certain bond to that, you know, at least in my opinion, that feels really cool. So challenge runs are something a little bit different. Like if you just do it and you don't even acknowledge that anyone else has done it, though, you sort of like, I'm doing this now and it's clearly something that, uh-oh. Clearly that someone else did and you don't give them any credit for it or like even acknowledge them and they're in your circle and it's sort of just like you're making it seem like it's your own. That I've seen before and that's kind of douchey. But as long as you kind of mention it, it I, I like the feeling of, of the community building that you get from that sort of thing. That's the one run that no one else ever did till you did that. <laughs> Which Souls boss would be the scariest to see IRL? Since they're coming up so soon, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it out there. Demon Prince and those two annoying ones. The camera. <laughs> the camera, the truly the greatest fiend in all of Dark Souls. Um, I bet you Toro's demon would be quite scary to see. Oh god, Capra. Capra would be pretty scary. Capra might actually win it out for me if I if I was being totally fair about it. Capra Demon is terrifying. Like, even not in his arena, which is total BS arena. Just as far as he ex looks, like, he's fast and agile, and he's got the creepy skull bone on his face. <laughs> I don't know, Shades. I can see some direct advantages for the camera clipping into walls. I'm dead. If you know what I mean. Return from whence Wet Nurse from Bloodborne also would be, hell like, super, super creepy, yeah, belonging. for sure. Madeir? Yeah, Madeir would be pretty creepy, too. Pretty scary. How about Yorm? Just like a big gaping maw for a face and a giant. You're kind of scary. The Demon of Song? Oh, is that the one with the frog where it looks like he's got foreskin in his head? Is that that one? I'm, I'm sorry it's be so crude, but... Abritus? Abritus is just hideous looking. Yes, Moon Presence at that rate, too, then, right? Vicar Lawrence. The orphan of, orphan of cost just because he's always be screaming and whatnot. Ah! 
on and throwing shrimp at you. Dude, looks like some sort of angry customer from Red Lobster trying to chase you down in the parking lot. Shrimp! Feel the wrath of my shrimp umbilical cord. My shrimp placenta. Frida, Frida. She reminds me of a West Side Story. Ow. Where'd she land? She landed inside of his chair! How would I have known that? Man, that's nonsense sauce. For that is thy place of belonging. You saw the nonsense sauce happening there. You were witness to it. You you bore witness to the nonsense sauce that was spread all over my bare chest. It gets all sticky in my chest hair, which is while existent relatively short overall because I'm not a particularly hairy person. Which is probably more information than you ever wanted to know about me. Not probably, definitely is, but there you go. Anyway, uh, we're losing our mind a little bit here fighting the old Freedsters. Gonna let that one... Gonna let that one percolate for a moment. Good hit. Don't be the boss to get back. I don't think you have much to worry about there, Deathlock. No worries. Caesar's discharge. Both in person and in name, he would definitely be pretty horrific. I will agree with that one. <laughs> no worries. Too real, man. Too real. Alright, here we go. I think the bigger danger is that the update will just break his computer, if anything else. Not that I'll win. That's the true danger here. Danger Ranger, they call me. Ha ha. Take that, Frida. That thing has so much range. Alright, let's top up. Max health. Oh, man, she came up right behind me. She wants me, dude. She wants me. She wants me bad. By wants me, I mean wants me dead, obviously. That was not clear. No, be dead! Thank you. God, that was scarily close, shall we say. All right, let's stop screwing this up. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what else we're going to do here just to help this out? Never mind. We're not going to. I was going to pop a pop a um, ember, but it was not to be. It's a backstab, baby! Woo! Not a ton of damage, but it's a start. Come on, Frida. How did that miss? That should have been a backstab! Ah! Uh, I know Tennessee's a ton. I'm just looking at the total HP that she has, and I was kind of like, ah! That's a little scary. Well, I could have got a little better there. All right. Keep it loose. Keep it loose. Man, it's like totally. It's funny how it gets totally blue outside in the sky after this huge. Um, torrential downpour earlier and the wind blowing so strong and now if you look outside it's just like 
Crystal blue sky and clear and sunny and beautiful. Crazy how that happens. Mountain weather, man. Fascinating stuff. All right, let's stop being bad so that we can hurry up and get to a boss that's actually tough. Right now, she's making me look bad for her phase two, phase three. I should be not having nearly as much trouble as I am on phase three, or phase one for that matter. The old muscle memory is not fully back yet, apparently. Unfortunate. I don't think we can get this. Nope. Oh, almost had her there. Okay, that was not handled very well. That's fine. We'll get her. We'll get her. I think she landed on her pops again where I can't see her very well. Okay. Yep, she's inside. Frida, I don't like fighting here. Can we go back this way a little bit, please? Oh, come on, Frida. You're just being a jerk now. Come on. She's being real difficult. Come out. Come out. <sighs> All right, this time you did not get inside of his hitbox area or whatever. Here we go. Phase two. I've used up tons of health, but you know what? It'll be fine. Not even a doubt in my mind. We're gonna, we're gonna die, but we're gonna try. We're gonna die, but we're gonna try. That's the spirit. It's like corduroy pants, you know. You can never go wrong with it as long as you try. He should have crushed Frida. God, she's being so aggressive. He should have crushed Frida there. As thy kind always have. Yeah, whatever, Frida. You're stupid. Oh gosh. Um, maybe we need to adjust our strategy, Maji, a little bit. I'm trying to think of what I could do to benefit the situation better. Oh boy. Um, I still like Grass Crest Shield for being able to get my stamina back up a bit faster. So I don't think we want to lose that. Lloyd Shield Ring to increase survivability instead of Lloyd's Sword Ring for damage? Ugh. We could do that instead of Hunter's Ring, actually. Maybe that's what the call will be. So when we get to Phase 3, we'll take off both of those rings and put on the Lloyd Shield and also the uh, Hornet's Ring. We'll see if maybe that'll do a little better. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible it'll help. Being able to survive just a little bit more because of Lloyd's would be really nice. Hey, we actually got the backstab there. Nice. Okay. I don't like this positioning. Nice. There we go. Threaten Goot Gosh's area by Stank Gums. What the heck are you talking about? Jugular Canyon region? Definitely interesting. What game is that? Goot Gosh's territory with the Stank Gums War Boys and the Jugular Cannon. Canyon. That is very strange. All right, Father Ariandel. All right, Frida, go ahead and do your stupid heal. We're gonna go. Where did she go? Found her. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take the damage.
Now that was pretty good. All right, let's quickly change these both. Uh, what did I want on this one? Lloyd's Shield. There we go. All right, we're set. We're set. I have a wedgie. I have a wedgie, but we're set. I've taken no damage. This is amazing. Oh, God, I had a terrible, terrible wedgie. Mad Max game. Ah, okay. Tetris. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, screw that one up. Screw that one up, something fierce. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, what the heck, man? I was getting out of there. I was getting out of Well, that was unfortunate. I was going pretty well, and then it went uh, went terrible. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I got all my ring changes off. That was nice. It's tough, man. That's tough. I'm having a tough time remembering what to do on phase three very well, which is definitely posing a problem for me. But phase two, I'm getting better at, I feel like. I've never actually seen a Mad Max movie, except maybe just like a little bit that was playing on TV of something. I should watch them though. I hear they're actually really good. Isn't it like sort of steampunk era? Okay, good. This is gonna be nice damage. go master blaster yeah that one I've heard about before I think I've seen that with the little dude sitting on top that does sound familiar Return from ah, that obnoxious move that is thy place of it reminds me a little bit of um, a much worse movie but that has a, a little person in it if you recall um, a wonderful I believe it was actually that like connected to the guy's neck in a wonderful movie starring um, Arnold Schwarzenegger called Total Recall that takes place on Mars. God, that was a terrible movie. Absolutely horrendous, as I recall. But there was something to that effect in it that I recall. I think so. Something like that. I haven't seen Total Recall in a long time, thank goodness. His eyeballs being sucked out and everything, and it's just like, God. Arnold, why are you famous again? Is it. Oh, the steroids. Right, the steroids is why you're famous. And the jump. All right. Let's get some good damage on her. One of your favorite movie series? Yeah, I really should see it. Isn't it sort of steampunk, though? Isn't that the genre? I believe it's what that, is that what it's called? Steampunk? Kind of like Waterworld with Kevin Costner. Also kind of really terrible actor. Ooh, I don't think I can get this one. Let's just hit her. Unfortunately, I'd have to use a heal there, but you know. Whatever. We should have her now. Yeah. Alright, here we go. It's on his stomach. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. You like Total Recall? Unironically, you like Total Recall? Really? That's a bold stance to take, sir. A bold stance indeed. Uh oh, she got her revenge. 
don't like that. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No. No, God. You love that movie? Oh, really? God, it's so bad. I mean, it's okay. I'm sure. I guess or whatever. It's okay. Post-apocalyptic. I think it's given it a lot of credit. Oh, Mad Max. Yes. I was thinking steampunk more along the lines of because of, like the the crazy vehicles that they drive. Of course, sort of makes me think of steampunk. Peak 80s action and a nice concept. I mean, it's the execution that I'm a little bit more hazy on. The 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 not special effects, but the graph the um. What's it called when it's not special effects? The other type of effects? God, this is so embarrassing. The um, the effects in it are are at least something to be desired. I'll put it that way. Yep. What are you gonna do, freezers? Now I remember how to do that one. Visual effects. The visual effects are terrible. That's the word I was looking for. See you at the part. See, I don't even. It's been so long, I don't even remember the reference. And I'm thankful for it, too. Pardon me? Pardon me, good sir. I need you to stop trying to kill me just for a moment. Okay, I don't know how that hit me. I'm a little bit... I feel that's nonsense sauce. Alright, Frida. It should be time for you to try and heal him. Not now, Father Ariandal. I'm busy. All right, we got him in a good spot here. A little scary there. I couldn't even see where the where the ice ended. All right, let's do our quick change out. Hold on. All right, let's do this. We'll see how it goes. Whew. Practical effects, pretty good for what I remember. Maybe we have a different idea of, of good. I've, I have, I have completely lost it with you guys. I think I'm in the minority here. I will assume it is me here for the problem. All right, let's do it. They won an award. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So maybe I'm the idiot. What else is to do? I missed up on that one a little bit. It's all right. It's not all right. It's getting less all right all the time. We're all right, we're fine, we're fine. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, madam. Oop. I need to heal. I hate to do it. I gotta heal. Okay. Okay. Just gotta be patient here. Gotta focus intently. Could have gotten that one. I screwed it up. It's all right. It's all right. Just gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. Wipe the sweat off my palms. Okay, that wasn't particularly patient, admittedly.
There you go. All right, we're doing this. We're doing this. Nominated for two Oscars. 82. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Oy vey. No! Oh, it was going well. Robert E. Gave us ah! <laughs> Man, that was going pretty well. Uh, I lost her on her invisibility maneuvers there, otherwise, we would have had her. Ah! Practical and gore effects. I, the face getting all sucked in like that. It looks silly. It, I thought it looked silly. I might be in the wrong. I don't know. But I'm going to assume I'm right and everyone else is wrong. But I'll, 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 I will concede that. There's a very real possibility that that is, in fact, not the case, and it's just me who's wrong. Fine, I admit it. All right, that was a good phase two. That was a good phase two attempt. Phase three attempt. Good phase three attempt there. Freaking Total Recall. I blame that death on Total Recall. I just gotta focus more. I gotta, I gotta not let Ar Arnie get in my head, and I gotta focus better. Okay, this is good. This is good. Very good. Silly concept. Thank you. Thank you for cutting me the smallest of breaks there. <laughs> I hit the wall! Oh, that's unfortunate. It cost us dearly. annoying on this particular one, isn't she? Alright, phase two. Philip K. Dick novel. Maybe the novel is better than, but the, the effects on it just, I thought were super goofy. Same author, Blade Runner went, oh, come on! Man. <laughs> what about, um, Did I stop her from doing the heal? Uh oh. Go for it. Yep. Thought he was gonna be doing that there. All right, we're ready. Phase three, baby. Oh, Pretend to be Blade Runner sequel early on. Really? I had no idea. That's fascinating. That's cool. That's cool factoid. I like that. Here we go, boys. Time to make it count. I hate this. I gotta know what to do better when she does this part of her phase. Okay. Could have gone worse. Technically. 
Ah, I missed that chance. Ugh. It's fine. Don't get up. Don't, don't, don't lose your faith. Almost. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We can do this. Okay, we missed out our chance there, but we got a heal off, which is pretty valuable. No! This is bad. I went totally the wrong way. I mean, we got some damage on it. I'll take it. Let's just uh, squander it and die. I'll take the full health so I get my Floyd shield. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I look not fine. Turns out I'm fine. Don't worry. I could have had a backstab there so easily. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Who is in Minority Report? That was a backstab if I wouldn't have rolled that direction. No, Frida! Fart. Fart on my balls! We're fine. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta actually be kidding me right now. Heal up. I need this health. This is what it all comes down to, baby! This is what it all comes down to! No! Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Stop being a jerk, Frida! Do what I need you to do. Just let this be over. You want it, I want it. The American people want it! Oh, you would, wouldn't you? If I can do this right. We can get her. She's this way. She's back this way. I lost her. I lost her. No. Oh no. Oh no. Roll. No! Come on. I'm getting lightheaded. I'm getting lightheaded. Everything's starting to spin. Don't worry. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Leave us be, Ashen One, so we all thought of us for I a rolled the wrong way. 
the choke is real. The choke is beyond. She does have really nice animation. Good point, Ethan. That's Tom Cruise. Great. Cool. That's nice. No, no, I haven't lost my will to live. What are you talking about? She gave me so many opportunities there where I could have just obliterated her. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm a defeated man. Return from whence thou camest. For that I am sweating profusely right now. <laughs> I do. I do need that. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I was so close. We had it within grasp, and then we let it slip. Dun, 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 dun. You had one shot, one opportunity. Sees everything you ever wanted in one moment. Just kill me, Frida. Just kill me, Frida! You missed four backstabs. Only four? It felt like I missed about 300,000, to be honest with you. I missed so many backstabs, it's not even funny. I just got two. I got two choked up. I, the choke was too real, you know? Just get, I got two inside my own head there is what caused it. Not believe I threw like that, dude. Return from oh man, I'm so I'm so um. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm rattled. I'm tilted, man. I'm too tilted. What are you looking at, Jingle? Jingle, just get over. Give me the look. Yeah, Jingle. Here, I'll show you guys Jingle. This Jingle just sitting over in this box giving me the look. Jingle, wait, give me the look for Jingle. Freaking Jingle giving me the look. You think you know me? You don't know me. Should you use throwing knives just to end it? Maybe. I hear tell of a choke. Zima, you have no idea. The choke. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad you like that name. She's a uh, she's she's quite the cat. Oh, the choke, man. It was beyond. Mix up and try Demon Prince. Can I go to Demon Prince now? Also, uh, hilarious joke, but we're not going to be like rushing over Demon Prince. I thought I have to beat her to get to him. Can? How do I do that? We're so close to getting her, though. I will get freed here. Frida will die very shortly. I won't choke like that again, believe me. Just go to the kiln. Oh, that's right. Then there's the warp points. We'll, we're, next time we get to phase three, we're killing her. Like, she signed her own death warrant. Do not you worry. Demon Prince is the one that looks like kind of a thin but triangular shaped head and he flies around. You can go to Ring City before Cathedral of the Deep. Yeah, I guess you kind of can go up really early, can't you? There is a lot of openness to how you pursue the game. That is true. All right, I got to wipe off the uh, wipe the sweat off, wipe the tilt off, ditch the tilt, focus intently. Founder. Yeah. 
is going to be the stupid AoE one here. There we go. Here we go. I'm back. You can win now. Perfect timing, Deathlock. We're about to win. Don't worry about anybody who says anything about a choke. That, that didn't happen. There was no choke. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, screw that one up, but that's fine. She screwed her move up, too, because she was confused by my badness. Am I dead? We must be Ashen One, sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. I choked for you. And the frames. <laughs> yeah, there may be a little bit of salt starting to happen, I will not lie to you. In fairness, though, the game is is um, bending me over into a position where my back is getting slightly sore by the by the nature of it. So it's very unfortunate, very unfortunate. But this time, this is the win right here. See, I was like, I can win, but if I choke, then Deathlock won't miss the win, which is more important. So therefore, I died. You're welcome. Come on, Frida, do whatever business you got to do here. Crap or get off the pot, Frida. I don't have all night here. Yeah, you're not good, Frida. You're bad, and you should feel bad. Worse than <laughs> okay, that one actually is that's that's pretty good. I will grant you that one. That one's pretty good. Alcohol helps with salt. You're probably not wrong. A little bit of a uh, little bit of tequila with the salt. Where'd you go? I still got the backstab. That's actually kind of hilarious. I love it. <laughs> I screwed it up, but I still got the backstab. All right, phase two. Not a problem. Not a doubt in my mind. We're getting better at phase two. You got to at least acknowledge that. Please, please acknowledge it. I need something at this point. Anything. Frida being a jerk on this particular attempt. Yeah. Go. Oh, that's fair. That was fair. That was fair. What I'm trying to say is it wasn't wow, look at that light coming in. Was that distracting with the big beam of light coming in behind me? Probably not, right? Oh, Frida. Why you gotta do this to me? We'll get her. <laughs> what type, what's your favorite cocktail, Deathlock? Yeah, tequila is one of those ones where it's perhaps one might call it an acquired taste for many. What's everybody in chat's fart on you? What's everybody in chat's favorite cocktail? Assuming you drink. If you don't drink, then of course, no worries. Just if you do. I'm curious to know. Whoop. Whoop. What happened? That was weird. Made some punch of tequila and frozen raspberries. It was really good. That does sound good. Whiskey sour. Hey, same here. That's my. That's probably my go-to favorite one. Or good margarita. Captain and Coke. Captain and Coke. Yeah, that's actually one of the like earliest ones that I had for cocktail. But I found that when I was having it, the later the night went on, the less Coke and the more Captain went into it. To the point where I was basically just sipping rum at that point. 
<laughs> I don't know if you've ever run into that problem yourself. But uh, that, sen that seems to be how it goes with me generally. Um, have you ever had a Dark and Stormy Shades? Because if you haven't, I recommend trying one out sometime. It's super easy. You just get a non-spice rum. Generally, Gosling's is the go-to. And um, you put a few ounces of Gosling into a cup with ice and fill the rest with uh, ginger ale. And that's it. Super simple to make. A nice sipper. And it's probably one of my other favorite just go-to cocktails. Highly recommend. But make sure you get some good ginger ale for it, of course. For me, I get like a like a tall cup, like maybe a pint glass size cup. And, uh, uh oh. <laughs> pint glass size cup. Put in a bunch of ice, pour in four ounces of goslings, and then top the rest of it up with ginger ale and give it a little bit of a stir. Very good. Very, very good. You see what happens to you too? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that one. Bailey's and Coke? That's interesting. I've never tried that. I have never had Coke Black. I'm not familiar. But yeah, that does sound good. If it's a cocktail if it involves liquor and and it's a mixed drink. If it involves liquor plus some other ingredient, then yeah, it's a cocktail for sure. I also don't mind a, a Moscow Mule from time to time, but I find sometimes it's a little bit better with gin. The splash of lemonade with it, get a gin shandy. A mojito made with, like, um, fresh mint out of the garden. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's real good. Yeah, anytime you can use fresh ingredients, it's always better. Old fashioned. I've never had a good old fashioned, and I know old fashions can be good. I need to just try one. Like, for some reason, I have not been able to make a good old-fashioned. I need to go to a place that makes a really good one. Fresh mint mojito? That sounds good. Yeah, with fresh mint in it, that's the best. Black was only around for a few months, unfortunately. Probably drank half of all the entire run. <laughs> I've never heard of it. But then again, I, don't, I haven't drank soda, like, except in the form of a cocktail, probably in 15 years. At least 12. It's been a long time since I've really done the soda thing. So that's probably why I missed out on that. I did have a little bit of time where I did some soda itch with, um... Where did she go? There she is. Back when they were doing it where they would put real sugar in it. I don't like high fructose corn, corn syrup. I don't like the flavor. So back when they were doing like, um, oh, they had a lot of Pepsi products with sugar in them. I might have that once in a while. Man, I'm having, I'm having some real chokage on this. I'm not doing that well. But yeah, if you just had to pick me, if you had made me have to pick just one thing that I would want the most and enjoy the most out of anything, it's probably going to be a whiskey sour as my go-to. My personal mix, I use, um, I fill up, you know, your basic whiskey glass. I fill it with ice, ideally really big cubes so they melt slowly. Four ounces of bourbon or uh, rye whiskey if you want to do it more traditionally, and I respect that. Rye can be really good in it. Uh, four ounces of, so four ounces basically of whiskey one entire lemon that's been squeezed and um, one and a half ounces of simple syrup and simple syrup if you're not familiar is just a, uh, a mixture that is one it's one part water to one part sugar so if it's one and a half ounces that would equate to uh, going into it are three quarters of an ounce of water and three quarters of an ounce of sugar so you just how you make simple syrup don't get this out of the stores it's all with high fructose corn syrup it's not what you want it buy cane sugar just your basic C and H Get some water. Heat the water up so that it's not boiling, but it's warm because you don't want the sugar to crystallize. And um, add the swirl the water, add the sugar to it, and you want equal parts. So if you put in two cups of water, then put in two cups of sugar. Mix it, let it cool, and that's your perfect simple syrup. So one and three quarters ounces of that. No, one and a half ounces of that. Four ounces of bourbon, one squeezed lemon. Shake, 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 and then strain in over the rocks into a uh, whiskey glass. That's how I make my whiskey sour, and it's never let me down, believe me. That's my recipe for most sours, is one full of the squeezed sour juice, plus four ounces of the liquor, and then one and a half ounces of simple syrup. 
If you're gonna just use straight sugar, you have less efficiency with it, so I would recommend probably going at least two ounces of, of straight cane sugar into the mixer, because a lot's gonna remain in the mixer, you know, the mixer after you've shaken it. But if you have simple syrup, which is super easy to make, then yeah, one and a half ounces is like the golden spot for me. And you might want it a little more sour or a little bit more sweet, depending on your personal taste, and you can you can make it to taste no problem, but that's been the, that's been the go-to to me for many, many years. go hello and she should be dead and a huge selection of craft sodas that sounds fun I love craft sodas like to try new interesting sodas like that it's fun time one soda that you never find over here in America but is super popular in Japan is melon flavored soda and I've never had anything over here that's even remotely similar to it it's kind of its own thing Pretty good too. I'd recommend trying melon soda if you're able to ever get the chance. Now that was some damage when I'm hitting both of them, baby. Yeah, come on over here, Father Arion, though. Not what I meant to do. I'm doing this so backwards. It hurts. No! I screwed it up. I screwed it up. We don't have the right rings on. Uh oh. It's only be awesome with fireball. Oh, uh, I don't know about. There she is. I've got the wrong rings on, and it hurts. How is that not a backstab? No! Oh. I screwed it up again. Sweep all of us from thy mind. Flying Cauldron Butterscotch answer. Beer. Ooh, that does sound good. Um, have you ever had a um, scotch and soda before? It's basically butterscotch plus, um, I think it's, I don't know if it's Sprite or ginger ale, but next time you're at like a, an old timey wimey diner, at, order a scotch and soda. It's not alcoholic, uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice little fun drink that I learned about last year, which is fun to have. Probably similar to what you're talking about, because it has, I believe it has butterscotch in it, which is why it's scotch and soda. Kind of like if you go to a place and, if you can order a Shirley Temple at a place, you can order a scotch and soda, is my, is my general feeling on it, I would estimate. Also, Shirley Temples, I really like Shirley Temples. Hurry up. How do I get that backstab on phase three there? I feel like I should have been able to. I feel like it should have been good. Uh-oh. Go. Thank you. Used up a lot of Estus here just in phase one. This hurts. Phase two. Come on, we can do this. This is doable. Freaking Frida, you will die. I promise you that. What hit me there? I don't fully understand what hit me, and I don't appreciate it. Okay. Well, we got through the AOE at least there, which is good.
That could have been very bad. What is this HP remaining on him? Come on, man. There you go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Why is Shirley Temple? She has a kid's drink. I don't know. Maybe because Shirley Temple is most remembered in her child form. They're really good, though. I like it. Grenadine and soda. Here we go, boys. Time for the end of Freedsters. I believe in a thing called free to be dead. Just looking to the rivers of my heart. There's some damage. That's the damage you like to see. Here we go. Time to not screw it up. See, why is that not a backstab? Which I don't understand. What do I have to do to get a backstab there, man? What is the positioning on that one? I don't fully understand it yet. Screw that one up. That's all right. That's all right. Let's not lose our focus here. Here we go. I heard her over this way. Hey, I got it there. Hey, what amazing. All right. I will be with chat in a moment here. I got to focus intently. Not ideal, obviously. There we go. There we go. We just about got it. No, the greed. The greed. She go for the one shot kill. Got her. GG boys. Ooh. Anyway, that's how you do it. Two hours and 20 minutes. Could have been worse. I'll take it. Whew. Uh, 